Okay, the last thing that we're going to discuss today is getting the lead out of your body. Um, this is number 22, tip number 22. And this is for those of you who find yourself in my position. You've been shooting for years, you never even thought about lead exposure, and you might have done a lot of those things and those tips that I said not to do. I did almost all of those, by the way. I used to eat in the range. I never washed my hands when I left the range. Um, I just threw my range gear into the trunk. I went home, touched everything in my house, wore every pair of shoes, every coat that I owned. <laughs> yeah, I had lead everywhere. Um, so I was not thinking about it. No one educated me. So I had to learn the hard way. So I'm just going to talk about some things that my doctor did for me to get the lead out. And I'll go ahead and tell you that my level was 16. He was really freaked out about that level. He hadn't seen an adult with a level that high in our area, which means he must not have treated some of the guys I know <laughs> from ranges around here. But um, he was very worried about it, especially in a childbearing age female. So he was pretty aggressive about trying to get it out of my system. And I'm gonna give you a list of the things he had me doing. But I'll go ahead and tell you that the progress was extremely slow to get the levels down. I might work six to eight months and see it go down one point. One time I worked six months and it went up a point. Um, so the best way is just to decrease your exposure to have really good uh, preventative measures for all three of those entryways that I talked to you about. Inhalation, absorption, and ingestion. But here we go. Here are the ways you can get the lead out of your body. There's something called chelation, and there are two different kinds. There's oral chelation and intravenous chelation. In my state, intravenous is illegal. It's more dangerous because it draws the lead out of your bones and just kind of explodes it into your um, bloodstream, and then it's you just have tons more lead in your bloodstream at one time, so you become a lot more toxic, and you feel a lot worse for a period of time until it can be gotten out of your body so that's not even legal here but I was able to do oral chelation which just means taking pills that help to draw the lead out of your bones which is where it's stored and it deposits it into your bloodstream where you can get rid of it um, you can get rid of it by sweat so he recommended heavy sweat exercise every day 30 minutes a day um, he had me take hot water soaks as hot as your skin can stand for an hour a day um, and he recommended an infrared sauna. It just wasn't practical for our family. He had an, a hyperbaric oxygen chamber, which he wanted me to use, but that was not uh, practical for our family financially because it cost a lot to do that. Um, some of the pills that he had me taking were HM chelate, which was by Pure Encapsulations. You can get that on Amazon. It's about 60 bucks for a bottle. It'll last you about a month. <laughs> Ashwagandha, zinc vitamin C and very high doses. All these things are available on Swanson's or Amazon. So a mixture of Corella, which is an algae, and cilantro are both really good agents for drawing lead out of your body. You can also find um, supplements on Swanson's and other places. That just happens to be where I ordered a lot of mine um, that are specifically to get out heavy metals. So you might want to explore some of those options. And you may want to get more aggressive than I did. I just had to balance our, you know, what can we afford financially? Because you can only afford so many supplements. And also, when you're taking 22 pills a day, it gets kind of old. So I kind of hung in there with all those pills for about a year, year and a half. Um, those hot water soaks and all that sort of thing. And it just gets old. It just wears you out. Especially when you see your lead level coming down so slowly. So when I started experiencing a big difference in the way I felt, and the lead level started going down more quickly was just when I stopped being at the range so much. And the Lord just worked that out for me because he closed down the range periodically where I was teaching. So I went from spending 30 hours plus in the range per week to none for a couple months. And uh, made a big difference. And um, now I'm not there nearly as much as I used to be because I'm home with my baby so I'm getting ready to have another lead level done and I hope to be able to report back to you that it's dropped a lot. The lowest level I've had since 2012 was 13 so I'm from 16 down to 13 and it's been over a year since my last test so I really need to get that done and the last episode in this series will be to let you know what it is. So 
I hope you've enjoyed the series, and I hope that you've found some information that's been helpful for you and your family. God bless everybody. Bye.